Right lads, welcome back to my team. Welcome to the finale of season five, the title deciding Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. Here is the situation. We are two points down on Leclerc. We need to outscore him by three points or more to win the championship. If we tie on points, he wins because he currently has five race wins and I have four. So basically, if we tie, he wins on count back. If I if I if I outscore him by three or more, I win the championship. That's the situation, basically. Um, but so yeah, that's how things look. Can I see what happens um, in this race? I've been looking forward to this one. You know, I I absolutely adore this track. It's a fun track, you know, and I haven't really driven this track much in a full race in the dry. Because last season it was fucking raining. And then I'm apart from that, I really just driven it like a couple like five lap race, small race, like five lappers. Like one small five lapper, I think, decision, when the game, well. when the track Thanks. first came out. Um, I think. Oh no, and I did um, my last first challenge here. Which was a 25% race, but nothing really truly serious like this. This is, this will, should, if, if providing it's dry, then it'll be my first time doing a proper serious race in Jeddah in the dry, you know? Which means I don't know much about, you know, what, we, what would be a good strategy in Jeddah. I have a general idea, but not, not for certain. DRS zones, we'll have to find out, but this is in practice. Um, Esman Alcon in FP1, I think it was. It was FP1, and he was having issues. He was having a few issues in practice, uh, and he just lost it down at turn 22. Um, so Alcon not having a very good practice. He just lost it. Um, I assume. Well, that's not. That's not even a DRS zone. That's a and the, and the worst camera angle in the world for literally everyone. Um, but yeah, Alcon binning it down to turn 22. That's not gonna be what. That's not what Renault would have wanted. That's not what Renault would have wanted at all. Um, so there we go. Alcon binned it in practice. We're heading into qualifying for the Saudi for the final time of season five. Also, sorry this video's up so late. I was getting files ready for season six of my team and I was watching a live stream on Twitch. Um but we're into qualifying then, trying to stay within the bounds of the racetrack unsuccessfully through the first sector and going purple through that first sector as well. Uh, Schumacher with a 26.4 to set the early pace, but cars are going to be going much quicker than that. It's very well timed, Sergio Perez. Um, as we're approaching the final corner now, and exiting said turn 27, bit of a touch on the wall there. We kind of did what Verstappen did, but we didn't absolutely bin it. Um, and we're gonna cross the line, go second quickest, six milliseconds slower than Verstappen. That's gonna see us through into the next nice pair of qualifying. Leclerc through as well, of course. As ever, rather close for Q1. Okay, could be a whole hell of a lot closer. Um, but I mean, when the top, when 16 drive, when like 15 drivers are separated by like a second, and that's, you know, not much. That's a lot of drivers in, in you know, within a second, if you know what I mean. Um, but. Anyway, obligatory early Q2 medium run. I don't plan on starting on the medium tires for once. For once, I actually don't plan on starting on the medium tires, and I'm, unsurprisingly, exceeding the track limits. But I just committed to it down at turn 22-23. No hitting the wall this time. Um, as uh, the DRS is over, we're going to finish this lap off. And something I should mention... Um, so not only is my gearbox over 60% worn, this is my, this is my, gonna be my sixth race with this gearbox. For the first, it's taken me till season five to get six races out of one gearbox. That is bad. But also, I changed components back to slightly more worn ones for practice and then forgot to change them back. Uh, they're not terribly worn, they're, they're still pretty damn good for use. But they're just a, a tiny bit more worn than my the ones I was using like last race. So, but either way, we're on for another run. We're second up on Alcon's time. Purple in the first sector as we head for turn 13. I dedicate many of the corner numbers in in uh, Jeddah up here because there's so many corners, and all of them are just like this, just sweeping corners that you don't really notice 
I know turn 1, 2, and 20, 1, 2, 13, and 27. That's the only ones I can. Um, and Jeff is really telling me things I do not care. I have the minimum amount of fuel in that I can get away with as we commit to exceeding the track limits at 22 and 23 again. And opening the DRS, which I don't know, how, that's the thing, I do not know how powerful these DRS zones really are. You know, because I think I cannot remember, but I can't remember back to my, um, my last of first from last December as we hit the wall again back there. I kind of mind back to that. Last season it was raining. We go third quickest. Gonna see us through into the net into Q3, no problem at all. And look at this. I was tweet. I tweeted about this last night. I tweeted about this last night. It's a small teaser, but I swear to God, the AI are trying to do their best impression of an F of F1 esports or like PSGL or something like that. You know, F1 league racing. The four tenths separate in the top ten. I know Jettis can sometimes be a bit close. I mean, last season the top five were separated by like a tenth of a second. Um, you can go back and take a look at that if you want to. Um, if you're wondering what I mean by close, separated by like a tenth of a second, the top five Jeddah. Like this qualifying cat has gone quite close this season, but oh, holy fuck. Um, either way, we're in Q3. We're not exceeding the track limit at 22 this time. As uh, we now just have a full throttle dash to the final corner, turn 27, which I don't know. Could you really say there's a lot less than tw to be honest? A, you do you don't notice 27 corners when you're driving the track because you're just like you like there's the S section at the back is like you know you don't really notice it. We go second quickest. I need to sneeze. Very bad timing to need to sneeze. We're heading out for our final run then. For the final time in, in Season 5, we're heading out for a final run. Um, we're gonna see if we can get pole position here. That sneeze has subsided, thankfully. If I need- if, if sneezes are gonna come when I'm commentating, if they can come when the intro cutscene is playing, or the race win cutscene is playing, then that'll be brilliant. But, in towards the next turn, now we start this slightly Maggots and Beckett's S Silver S Suzuka S colta esque section of racetrack through sector one. Um, we're gonna finish, open up the DRS, close out the sector, purple through the first sector, that's really good. Turn 13 now, as we are three, four tenths up on our previous best, getting on the power on the exit, as early as we can on the exit, to be honest. Uh, not losing any time, and not gaining any time either. Just good to go full commit as the checker flag falls, we apparently exceeded track limits. Vettel! Goes on to provisional blow with a 24.2. We're five tenths up on our time, which would put our, our so which was about equal with Vettel. Turn 22 now. Full commit to exceeding the track limits once again. And now the DRS is going to open up for us wide. The rear wing open like a ladder box as we are full throttle now down toward the final corner, the final braking zone, the final turn of this qualifying lap. We turn in, hit the apex, get on the power as early as we can. The DRS is opening and we cut over to the left hand side to minimize the distance as we make the run across the line to close off the lap and what's it Fantastic. gonna be? You've got pole. It's the best result we can hope for. Pole position by two tenths of a second and Leclerc down in P4, Vettel and Verstappen in between us in second and third. That is about the best qualifying we could have asked for to be honest. Um, pole position in the final race, that's pretty much what we needed to do. Um, and we're gonna be alongside Sebastian Vettel on the front row, no slouch, he's had some brilliant starts this season. To be honest, he's had some pretty decent starts this season. You know, as is Verstappen, Leclerc as well, Sainz, he, had, he got a mega start last time in Brazil, Perez is sixth, ahead of uh, Norris, Gasly, Hamilton, and Sonoda is uh, rounding up the top ten. Sonoda didn't go out for a second run, and oh my god, look at that between Sainz and Perez. I never noticed that what, Sainz is one millisecond faster than Perez. Uh, so yeah, Perez. Oh my god, that is so close. Perez would have been fucking kicking himself, swearing on the radio. I probably in Spanish. Um, the two Spanish-speaking drivers on the grid, very close at times, but let's head to the grid for the season finale and see what will unfold today. So here we are then, welcoming you today to one of the jewels of the Arab world, Jeddah. One of the biggest cities in Saudi Arabia, second only to Riyadh, gateway to Mecca, and one of the biggest ports in the region. 
And now, host to the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. An interesting circuit, this one, the newest on the Formula One calendar. And like most street circuits, it's sure to present the drivers with an interesting technical challenge. Some challenging turns for the drivers to negotiate as well. And at the same time, they're going to have to manage their tyres very carefully in this heat. It's just about time to go to the track for the beginning of the race. But before we do, Anthony Davidson, what types of strategy do you think we can expect for today's event? Well, there's a lot that both the driver and the team have to keep in mind when going into a race. The tyres, fuel, energy recovery systems, the list goes on and on. But I think the key to today's victory will come down to the pit stop strategy. Come in too soon and you might find yourself needing more than one stop. Too late and you're putting yourself at a disadvantage by spending longer on worn tyres. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. It's the owner driver in pole position then, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Leclerc, Carlos Sainz and Perez, Norris, Gasly, Hamilton and Yuki Tsunoda, Fernando Alonso, Eilert, Esteban Ocon and Russell, Stroll, Matsushita, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Nicholas Latifi, Lundgaard, Mick Schumacher, Mazepin, and Jack Aitken. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. There's still a chance we can win this championship, so go out there and bring back the title. It's dry and Jeff's not being a dick on the radio. We're off to a brilliant start already. If you don't know what I'm on about, go back to Jeddah last season when we load into the grid. It was raining and Jeff was being a dick on the radio. Anyway, um, also Anthony Davidson. It's my memory tower is not too bad around here. So it's going to be a one stop as ever. As I tend to do, soft to medium, of course. That's a slight strategy. Of course, that's what we're going to do for the strategy. Everyone is on the soft compound tires, so we're all the strategies are all thinking with the same Sam brain as they tend to to be fairly honest. But we're gonna see what unfolds as here come the five red lights ahead of us for the final time in season five in Jeddah. We are racing for the final time in season five. It's a good start for us. It's a good start for Sebastian Vettel. He's down the inside into turn one. We swoop around the outside to maintain the lead. Leclerc's in a good start. He's already ahead of Max Verstappen, who's being pressurized by his former teammate Sergio Perez. As Leclerc is pulling out on Vettel down towards turn uh, three or four, whatever that is, he's up into second place. Leclerc now right behind us. What he needed to do, Hamilton staying ahead of Sonoda as everybody works their way through this first sector of the race start. But we're leading and we have one second lead over our teammate Charles Leclerc in second place. He got a good start. Vettel down to third. Then go Verstappen, Perez, followed by the two Ferraris, Carlos Sainz and Pierre Gasly, six and seven. They got Lando Norris, Lewis Hamilton, and Yuki Tsunoda rounding out the top ten as things stand at the moment. Uh, a lot of people are keeping their grid positions as it uh, stands, but Leclerc has done what he needs to do off the line. We're doing what we need to do and being ahead of it. Uh, but it's not by a massive amount. He has closed in as the lap progressed um, to be within well, within half a within half a second now. As he sets the fastest lap two tenths quicker than we did as we head on to lap number three. The DRS is now enabled as well. Of course, the rear wing will open up like a like a letter box in the background, as we often say, as it's often said in Formula One. And that DRS taking effect, he's gaining quite a lot, but not not enough to make a move. And I want to see as this race pro progresses. I think this DRS on here could be quite powerful, specifically the one on the main straight and the one on the back on that back curve. I'm going to call it. There goes the car. He's pulled to the outside. We're on the inside, trying to defend the position, and we're going to do so. Down the inside, it's close to contact, but there's no to contact to be had. As uh, there's Jeff whinging about the um, by the engine. No surprise there, as he's always going to be whinging about something or another. Um, but Leclerc is still right with us. We've had a poor run through 22 and 23 kind of area. I, again, I'm not too sure. I know 22 is the right way. Look at the way Leclerc's gaining. This DRS one is quite powerful. And I love this shot, I might, might just say. I love that, that aerial view. As Leclerc's taking the lead. But we're going to get the DRS to repass him down towards turn one. As we've had a bit of a twitch there. I'm getting back onto the power. 
Um, we've got the DRS. We are gaining rapidly. This DRS one is quite powerful, especially when paired with the ERS. We're going to pull to the outside line. Vessel's under pressure from Verstappen in the background, meanwhile. We retake in the lead of the race. Can Verstappen get up into second place ahead of Sebastian Vettel? No, he can't. He has to flip back into fourth. And um, have another goal later on. The Dutchman still stuck in a bit of a Red Bull. The former Red Bull driver was still stuck in a Red Bull sandwich. And the goal is now no longer driving for Red Bull in this career mode. Save back onto the back straight. We're going to play this tactically. Play it tactically. Let him overtake us with the DRS. We can get, get him back again on the main straight as that DRS zone. Quite powerful, you know? And so, oh, Vettel back there having a bit of a twitch. I saw a bit of a twitch from the rear end of that Red Bull as it was exiting out the final corner. That's going to give Verstappen encouragement into turn one. We're going to be coming back at Leclerc into turn one round the outside. We regain the lead of the race. Verstappen is having another go at trying to get up into the podium places. Can the Dutchman get ahead of the car that he used to drive in towards, I believe, turn four? Yes, he can. Verstappen now up into second place, uh, third place, sorry in this race as Leclerc is once again still right with us. A gap is opened up to those behind us as uh, we've let Leclerc pass once again. Just, again, playing it tactically. There's no need to just fight too hard when we have another DRS on straight away that we can repass him with. As I think there's an Alfa Romeo and uh, Williams fighting in the background. You can see it on the mini map as uh, we're gaining. We're going to the outside once again for turn one. It's a, t it's a textbook stuff so far for this race. Gain the lose the place, then just gain it straight back again with the DR with the next DRS straight. It's the way it's, it's this track is set up beautifully for doing that a lot easier, pretty damn easily. You, you can play tactically. He's looking as we head through this back sector, this back S slalom like sector of racetrack that to be honest, I really love him, which is actually DRS on the IRL. But Cody's a fuck that one up. I hope they fix that for F1 2022. I seriously hope they fix that. Um, but here comes Leclerc once again. Verstappen's right in the background as well. Meanwhile, he wants to get involved in this fight. He wants to try and have a goal and go for the win here. This is becoming a three-way scrap for the win. It might become a four-way scrap if Vettel can get his ass involved in this. Um, and he'll pull his ass back up, oh, up into the fight. You know what I mean. As Verstappen's gone ahead of us, he's going for Leclerc on the outside. We're going to go to the inside. It's going to be three wide in the turn one. We can't cross. Instantly, Verstappen's off the racetrack as he's trying to stay ahead and will stay in second place. Does he manage to do that? We'll have to find out as we head down towards turn four and he goes around the outside. He gains the place. Verstappen started to move off the racetrack. To be honest, I have a feeling if this was real life, the stewards would probably be telling him to give that place back to Leclerc because he technically kind of gained it off track. I don't know, but while all that was going on, further down the field, there was a mega scrap happening between Lungard and Mantegiza approaching, but mainly between Russell Schumacher and Latifi, they're side by side through 22. You don't often see cars go side by side, though. Luckily, Russell very cleverly pulled in behind as they were going through, but they're going to go three wide now, I think. They're definitely trying to. Latifi's going to make it three wide. As Mantegiza to the head of Lungard, um, Russell's ahead of Schumacher and Latifi now. Well, let's see how this one works out. Jack Aitken is right in the background as well of uh, this old scrap, and I'm sure would love to get involved in the Schumacher's approach in the back of Russell pulling to the outside of Russell as they continue on their way down now in through the first chicane here. Really the only chicane of the entire racetrack. Unless you want to count 22, 23, yeah, but to be honest, I count that more just as a quick sequence of corners, really. Um, as it's Matsushita and Lungard and Schumacher and Russell, then Aitken and Latifi is uh, the order right now. As um, I think Mazepin's out the race at this point, by the way. Um, I forgot that, but Gasly's having to defend from Lando Norris as it's just one big train. This train, like, first of 14, is like, again, it's like a league race. It's like a league race. There goes Hamilton pulling out and trying to have a look at Norris. But he had to tuck back in behind on that one. Norris is still going to pull towards the inside to pull back on in the line now for the first chicane. And um, yeah, that's the, the midfield. It's basically one big train is what this is right now. As uh, Verstappen has closed in. We've been had, had a bit of a break the last few laps because him and Leclerc fighting opened up a good gap to us over a second. He's closed back into under a second. We've had a pretty poor first sector on this lap. 
but we're going to be pissing in at the end of this lap for the medium compound tyres, so it's not all so bad. Verstappen is going to be gaining quite a lot here with the use of the DRS, but he's not going to go for the move, as we're just acting like a mobile chicane, just being a bit annoying at the moment, more more than anything else. Well, well very much entitled to, as there is Jeff yabbering on about the gearbox as we pull into the pit lane now for our one and only stop in this race. Uh, there's a Red Bull in of Sergio Perez, there is a Ferrari in of one of the two of them. I'm not quite sure which one of them it is. I, is that Gasly or is that Science? I don't know which one it is. Pardon me. Jesus. Um, I still don't know which one it is. I think it might be Gasly. It might be Gasly. All I know is that Norris is ahead of that Ferrari. Lando Norris has gotten ahead of that Ferrari car that was in the pit lane. It must have been... I don't know which one. He was behind both Ferraris. I don't know which one it was. It was one of the Ferraris. We we're just behind Schumacher and P13 on the rejoin. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll, we'll see in a minute. We'll see in a couple of seconds which Ferrari was. The Schumacher is very slow. We have to go off track a bit to overtake him. Luckily, we don't get an illegal overtake for that. Um, and we're right on the back of Jack Aitken now, but not able to quite go for him just yet. Uh, we might be able to into the final corner, but I mean, I think he might be pitting in at the end of this lap. Leclerc is into the pit lane. It was Sainz that was in the pit lane, because Gasly's in just now. So Norris has managed to get ahead of Sainz in the pit stops. Norris was at, behind Sainz. He's now ahead of him. Good job from the McLaren pickers. Leclerc onto the medium tires as Williams coming in as well. Leclerc is going to be just behind Verstappen, meanwhile. As there we go, Re we retake the lead. Where are these guys all going to rejoin in this big old queue? Um, we'll have to see that the Red Bull out of shape. There's contact, someone's lost the front wing. And I think it's Lando Norris losing his front wing. Um, I think Perez might also have wing damage, but Norris lost his whole front wing. The virtual safety car is being deployed for Debra on the track. Lando Norris is pulling over out of this race. Let's see what happened here. He Gene just pitted the lap before. Um, Sergio Perez just ahead there. There's Leclerc just coming out of the pit lane. There's a bit of contact between Perez and Leclerc. And then Perez got out of shape, hit Norris. That's basically what just happened with there with all that. Okay. So it was Perez being contact with Leclerc. We got Perez out of shape there. And then Norris was a bit of an innocent victim there. Unfortunate is all I can say about that is Norris becomes the second retirement of this Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. Nikita Mazepin was the first virtual safety car. As I said, has been deployed um, for oh, build up a debris on the track. As uh, Jack Aitken has not been into the pit lane yet. That's maybe a bit of a good thing for us. Give us a bit of breathing room for when he does go into the pit lane. But the virtual safety car is going to be ending. We were going racing once again. We've got two seconds or so to um, Verstappen as Aitken and Latif are both into the pit lane on this lap as Gasly's lost out. Well, actually, since when was Sainz ahead of Vettel? Since when did that happen? That must happen in the pit stop. Vettel wants to get back past the Spaniard rather rapidly because Gasly is just in the background watching on in the other Ferrari car. Um, but Vettel with the DRS down towards turn one is going to have a brilliant chance. He could do this before the braking zone, and he has done it before the braking zone. Vettel up into second, up into fourth place. Uh, the Lonzo was having a look at Sonoda there, I think. Just had to tuck back in behind, try again another time. Uh, there is Giovinazzi in the background, further back, trying to get ahead of Alcon, who's defending the place in the other Renault car. He's managed to do so. Aitken gets ahead of Schumacher. Uh, Verstappen's closed back into us, meanwhile, he's dragged Leclerc along with him. Uh, well, just, to be honest, Leclerc's just hanging onto the back of Verstappen, really. And then Verstappen's back inside the DRS of herself. So, game back on, as there goes Fernando Alonso and Yuki Tsunoda once again. Alonso trying again to get ahead of the young Japanese driver. Um, and can he get that move finished off? He's gonna have to do it at turn four if he wants to get this move finished off. Um, as they head on through, is that white tires on the, did I just see hard tires on that McLaren? I did. As the uh, car is still headed Giovinazzi, that is hard compound tires on Sedona's car. What is that man doing? Or rather, what's the McLaren pit crew doing? The McLaren strategists, rather. What are they thinking? I don't know. All I know is that we have Max Verstappen right on our tail. 
Um, and he's gonna go for the move. We're gonna play this tactically as we did earlier in the race. Gonna let him by so we can get the DRS down in towards turn one to get back past the Mercedes driver. As uh, Jeff, yeah, I've, I've got it, Jeff. Just, I know, just leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. Uh, we're gaining on Verstappen, what we're doing, and we're repassing him down into turn one. He's gonna have a look into turn one, but has to file back in behind. Can't quite, re can't quite defend it into turn one. We pretty much had that one covered, and the DRS ones here are quite powerful. And he's having a look at the back sector later on, this uh, back S sector of the track, but he cannot make the move, replacing this car very well uh, to just keep him behind us. And it will just keep behind us is basically what we're trying to do. Uh, but we are probably just going to let him go by here. Again, playing this tactically. And what's worth pointing out, Leclerc in third with the fastest lap. He would score 16 points. If we finish second, we score 18. If Leclerc is third with the fastest lap, we have got to win this race. Because if it finishes like this, if us in second, Leclerc third with fastest lap, then we would tie. So with Leclerc third, fastest lap, we've got to win this race. If we want to win the championship, if he fin if it stays like this with Leclerc with the fastest lap, someone's having issues behind me while we retook the lead. Um, we'll just see what that is. Oh, and that just sums up Lewis Hamilton's entire season. In a nutshell, it's not been a good one for the Brit. He, it's not been a good one for the nine-time world champion as he is in his career mode. He's out of the Grand Prix while his teammate Max Verstappen is right on our tail. As we head down towards turn 13, Leclerc is pulling out, getting interested on Verstappen. He's going for the move, he's gone past! Leclerc also had a little look at the route outside of ourselves, but he didn't go for anything. He stays really high on the exit. Maybe I should be doing that, Get, maybe it might be quicker. I don't know, but Leclerc is right on our tail now as we're heading through sector two, the back section of the racetrack here. Uh, this very fast back sector with this fl flat out run now down towards turn 22. I love this aerial shot. I love this aerial view. So this is going to be one of the best aerial views in the entire game, especially as they head through sector three here. Um, and the kind of, I don't know, kind of road in between the water there. The clerk goes past with the DRS. We're going to get him back down into turn one though, as we did earlier in the race. Not giving this one up so easily. As um, Verstappen's in trouble in the background. He's been passed by Vessel and by Sainz. He's going to be passed by Gasly. As he's into the pit lane, you see on the mini map, we're going past Leclerc meanwhile, into turn one, he had another look, could not quite do anything, we retake, gain the lead of the race. Uh, but this is going to be a two horse race unless we fight so much that invites Vettel back into the four. He's already, Vettel already closed in by a second um, on us, they're approaching as Leclerc goes back past us again, still playing this very tactically. We've got this under control, I have, oh, I, I have this under control lads, I know what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is trying to win a race. Well, uh, will that work? We'll have to find it. We're going to go to the inside this time to get back past Leclerc. To, again, free game the lead. Cut across the track there as we go through the chicane. Le lead regained is what I'm trying to say if I get my tongue to work properly. As uh, Vettel has joined the fight. Vettel is within a second of Leclerc. He's within a second of us. As uh, we know, this is basically turning into a five-way scrap for the lead. As P1 through P5 are separated by 1.5 seconds. Not much at all. As um, Leclerc is going to be right on us. Vettel might be right on us as well. As we head down into turn 27 now. As uh, Leclerc goes past DRS. We're going to try and keep Vettel behind us. He's looking. Can't fault the German for trying. He's trying to get by. He's trying to insert himself into this fight here. Um, and who knows, can the Ferraris get involved in this? They've been pretty pacey in recent races. You know, as Vettel's getting involved, he's having a look at us down into turn one. We're going to be looking to go for move on Leclerc. Down the inside, we've gone almost contact. Leclerc is slowing down. Vettel goes past him. As uh, Leclerc was kind of stuck on the curb there. Trying to not get an illegal overtake or an off track a, a penalty or something. But all in all, Vettel's up into second place. Leclerc's down to third. It's almost, this is so fine. We've got, what, five, five and a half laps remaining in this race, I believe. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, five and a half laps left of this race, of the season, to decide the championship. Vettel was looking there at the outside. We slammed the door shut on him. And uh, we're going to maintain the lead for the time being. But the top five separated by one second. 
Vettel on the end, he's right on our gearbox. The clear right on his gearbox. Sainz behind that, Gasly behind that. We're gonna have to defend from an absolute army down into turn 27. They're looking, Vettel is looking. Leclerc was looking as well. Sainz and Gasly watching on in the background, waiting to pick up the scraps. Verstappen's getting past Latifi, meanwhile. But we're focused on this scrap up here. For the lead of the race, Matthew Metal. DRS open, he's crashed! And he's in a crash with the Ferrari, it's a big crash! Debris everywhere, safety car is out immediately for that huge crash involving Sebastian Vettel, Lance Stroll, and Carlos Sainz. You can see the 55 on the car. That is a safety car, but understandably out. After a big crash for Sebastian Vettel, after he opened the DRS, what was it? He was just got a twitch there, and Sainz has got collected by the German, and we're gonna see Lance Stroll coming through here any moment now. There goes the Renault, and there goes the McLaren, Toros, and there's the Aston Martin. Crashing into the former team is. Uh, yeah, Sainz, it's a bit of an innocent victim in this whole thing. He got caught up. Um, McLaren avoided it perfectly. That could have been, that was like tenths of a second away from being disaster for Leclerc. As uh, Stroll was trying to avoid it, but he failed miserably at uh, trying to avoid that. He failed miserably, and uh, actually McLaren got very close to making contact as well. And a Renault. Uh, Esteban Alcon got very close to making contact. He just managed to avoid Stroll, but the safety car has been out. Sonoda is on hard tires, another 5 second time penalty for some reason. Safety car is coming in, we're trying to make sure our tires are warm. We got three laps ahead of us to decide the championship here in season five after late race drama. It's coming down to these final three laps as we're going to be bolting right about now. The safety car is in. We've bolted and we're going to get the race back underway for three laps of action all the way to the checkered flag to decide the championship in season five. We're leading Leclerc second with the fastest lap. If it finishes like this, we'll be champion at the end of this season, at the end of the next, however many milder kilometers it will be for like two and a half more laps of the Jetta Corniche circuit. Uh, we'll have to wait and find out Leclerc's gaining on us through this back sector of the track. He's clearly deploying his battery. We're trying to be smart about our battery deployment here through the lap. Not that there's DRS yet, that's gonna be enabled in time for the final lap. As uh, Leclerc right under until he's gonna be looking into the final corner. He's gonna be having a look. He's trying to have a look, definitely, but we're defending it brilliantly. Gasly's right behind the lines all up into fourth, by the way. Then we've got Sonoda, Ilo, Alcon, Giovinazzi, Mazda, Gita, Lunga, but you Sonoda's gonna have a five second time penalty, which at this point in time will drop him outside the points. Leclerc's looking down the inside, he's gonna have to switch to the outside. As we make the run down to the first corner, we defend it as he talks back in behind. Has to or else, well, he there was no finding a way through because I'd slammed the bloody door shut. Uh, but we're gonna try, we've got basically just a defend for our life here. Defend for the championship. Finishes like this, we're home safe and dry. But we've still got another lap and about three quarters to try and survive. A lap and a third to survive. As uh, we have a poor run there through the end of sector one. Leclerc's right on our tail. He's gonna be looking. He's gonna be looking eventually. Probably down the back sector, I would imagine. As we try and get on the power mini, mini slide there. As we exited turn 20 to turn 13. As Leclerc right on our tail. As I said he would be. He is right on our gearbox. As we make our way onto the back sector. The back S section, he's looking through here, he's, we're side by side, it's a drag race, we're trying to maintain the P1, and we're gonna do so to make our way down to turn 22, where he crashed in practice last year, IRL that is of course, um, but he's gonna have a great run down to turn 27, Gasly's gonna have a great run as well, Leclerc's gonna have to defend from Gasly, who's getting himself involved in the fight, Gasly wants to go for the win here, as um, Leclerc, Gasly's ahead of Leclerc, he's sandwiched in between um, two cars on the same team. Gasly's having a look for the lead here. DRS is going to be enabled as we head on to the final lap of the season. Gasly takes the lead. We're deploying ERS as we approach the final round. Final turn for the first turn. We regain the lead of the race for the time being, but the DRS is now enabled. So we're going to have to see how this all plays out. Um, as we have just have one lap remaining to try, one lap to survive for our first championship of this career mode. 
Uh, but we don't get a brilliant run through that corner again. I don't seem to be able to ever get a good run through there. I don't know why. But Gasly towards 13 is looking down the inside in the Ferrari. We fend off the Ferrari, the Scarlet Red car and give gate and uh, hold on to P1 for the time being. But he's definitely looking. He's getting impatient. He's trying to fight. He's not giving this one up. And why would he, you know? He's a racing driver. Racing drivers want to win. He's going to have a look. And to be honest, I'm going to play this tactically. Going to let him back by. He retakes the win. We've got to get back past him if we want to win this championship. Because there's, there's a very powerful DRS zone ahead of us. Down into the final corner. That is, we're going to have one shot at this. To win the championship. As the DRS open, we're running, making it run down to the final corner. Go down the inside of the final corner. Regain the lead. We had one shot at the final corner. On the last lap of the season. We regain the position we need. To cross the line. To win the championship in season 5 of my team. Cheers Jeff. Final corner. Final lap. What is this? Brazil 2008 or something? And so the celebrations begin and well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level, at the very top, is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then. We have a new World Drivers' Champion. They've done it then. Victory in the last race of the season and the championship as well. What a phenomenal end to a terrific Formula One season. So Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, you know what they say, to finish first, first you have to finish. And that fact was clear today with lots of retirements having a big effect on the outcome of the race. As a driver, you tend to keep reliability concerns to the back of your mind and just focus on what's in front of you. But for the teams, races like this can be very stressful. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. Jesus Christ, what a way to close off Season 5. A drama late race drama leading to my tactical decision to let Gasly by before the DRS attention point for that final DRS curve. We get back to position. We get the position we need once and for all in the final corner of the final lap. Is this Brazil 2008 or something? Seriously. Um, but anyway, oh my god, what a race that was. Huge crash there for Vettels and Sainz and, and Stroll there on uh, the back straight. Um, Norris with damage as well, Mazbin and Hamilton. Pardon me, having de having uh, mechanical failures, but here's our final championship order. We win the championship for the first time ever in, in on F1 2021. My team, Leclerc, second, seven points back. It's been a pleasure having him. It's been a pleasure having him as my teammate. But time has come out of the season. We must move on. I have a good idea of who I'm signing. Um, then for Staff in third, the two Red Bulls, Vettel and Perez, fourth and fifth. We've got the two Ferraris, Gasly in sixth, so it's Sainz in seventh. So Gasly are performing sites in his uh, debut season for Ferrari. And we've got Norris, Stroll, and Hamilton rounding up the top 10. Hamilton not having a good season again. Then we've got um, Fernando Alonso 11th, Yuki Tsunoda 12th, Callum Eilat 13th with a couple of podiums. Nobuhara Matsushita 14th, George Russell 15th, S1 Ocon 16th, Christian Lungard down in 17th. He was back in the points for this race. Um, then we've got Latifi, Giovinazzi 8th, and Schumacher Mazbin. Is the bottom part of the grid. Might have been the only driver to not score points this season. His uh, mechanical failure. Some of his season, to be fairly honest. And, um, well, the Constructors, we win the... No change for the top two. We win the Constructors Championship. Couple of races ago, Red Bull second. Ferrari, get Mercedes at the last moment possible to get third. Best of the rest in the Constructors standings. Ferrari back in the top three there, then. And then we've got Mercedes down to fourth. McLaren and Aston Martin say where they were fifth and sixth. And uh, Alpine, get Alpha Tower right at the death for 7th, Alpha Tower 8th, and we've got Williams 9th, Alpha Mill 10th, and Haas in 11th. Last plays bottom of the championship once again. Um, as there goes season 5 of my team. Are you going to be able to keep up that momentum? Uh, the season just ended, Claire. Sorry to burst your bubble, but the, the season just ended. 
But, oh my god, there goes season five. As I said, it has been an absolute pleasure having Leclerc as my teammate. The best teammate I've had, I've ever have on any F1 game, gonna be honest, because he is one a hell of a driver. This guy here is one a hell of a driver. You know, he, we, he beat us to the champ, he beat us to the championship in season three on 2020, and season, and last season here on 2021, we finally beat him, um, which is what I wanted to do. Um, but the time has come, season six, we must move on to a new teammate. I fully intend to do so. And I'm saying I have an idea of who I signed, acting like I haven't already recorded the first part of the pre-season 6 pre-season and already know who I've signed. Um, but anyway, we'll cover more of this next time for season 6 pre-season. For now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this season. I sure did. For, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.